the revolutionary. Mr. Chairman Fred Hampton in the building, my man. You there, brother? I'm I'm live and direct with you, my brother. I'm I'm literally uh in uh in the route um about to head out of town. But well, let me say first and foremost, I am self critical for calling in late to you, brother, you know what I'm saying? And to, to you, to the listeners, to the people in general. You know, and also, uh, forgive me if the phone goes in and out from a cell phone about to go into the airport, you know, some of the gallons. I uh, definitely want uh, self okay. critical for calling in late. It's all right, though, man. Uh-huh. We just wanted to build a suspense for you to come in. We understand that. Uh, right you on, right on. We... Yeah. We... And thank you for thank making you it. Just... Anytime you give, it's better than nothing. Well, thank y'all for having me, brother. Thank y'all for having me. Definitely, man. So, so what's been going on? Oh, say, say, struggle different round. I'm, I'm literally uh, uh, in route. Can be been in uh, Pittsburgh. Um, big side of the Black Family Reunion. So we're gonna be addressing a number of different issues because uh, current political climate. Uh, what's happening? Um, well, uh, right now, central location. I say our central location. Well, I'm based at right here in uh, Chicago, which is infamously referred to as, as Chirac. Uh, and I say we. I'm talking about uh, the organization that I'm honored to chair. That being uh, the Black Panther Party Cubs, um, so we'll be updating a lot of different campaigns and cases that we're working on, ranging from political prisoners to um, <clears throat> the continuous police terrorism. We, we, we say police brutality is a euphemism to, to the constant cost of police terrorism that we're subjected to. Yes, again, day to day, you know what's happening? What's happening with our people? You know, saying here, there, and everywhere. That's what's up. We appreciate your service too. Your service is very helpful, and I know there's a lot of people that don't have voices that can speak for themselves, and, and yeah. so to be a voice for the for people in the masses, I definitely appreciate it. Well, it's, 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 an, it's, an honor, it's an honor to serve the people, man. It's an honor to serve the people. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how, you know, how familiar, uh, you know, your listening audience is, you know, with, with, you know, the work that we do, you know what I'm saying, but so, um, I, you know, so people kind of feel me in, you know, with, with, with whatever tickles we, you know, so we hit on. Well, with our audience, we're, we're pretty much hip-hop fans, but we also a 30 and up crowd. You, you know, we, we pretty much have the knowledge yourself of knowing what y'all movement and put down and where y'all trying to go in terms of activism and being and making a stance against what we go through as black people in this country. So mm-hmm. it's not we don't really have a we don't have a ratchet audience. We have we have pretty much a, a real loyal, understanding crowd, and I believe that's why we feature you on here because we can pretty much get that heavy dialogue on where we need to go as people. Yes, sir. Well, let's let's do it. Let's 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 make this let's, let's uh let's see the time. Let's make some history, take some history, and take some history. You know, um, let's let's do it. Yeah, man, that's, that's indeed. We now before we go on, we got a caller. I mean, we don't have a caller, but we let y'all know that the six one nine nine two four zero seven zero three. We have Chairman Fred Hampton in the building right now. If you want to ask any questions, if you want to ask us any questions, we already here. We locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Yes, indeed. Hey, just for the listeners that don't may not be aware of any of your background, can you yes, explain your 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 parent situation, how you you know, what kind of environment you were raised into, what happened back in Chicago back then? What can you explain give them a little background from you? Yes indeed. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Um yeah, at times I say in the eyes in the eyes of the United States government, I've been defined as a three strike offender. One, just for being African. Two, for being the son of Chairman Fred and also of Akua and Jerry. And three, for continuing to fight for liberation of our people. Um, I'm uh, uh, Chairman Fred, Chairman Fred Hampton, uh, who was Deputy Chairman of the chapter of the Black Panther Party. In fact, this is the largest chapter of the Black Panther Party. And, um, uh, just want to touch on that also in particular. The Black Panther Party was a you know, was revolutionary organization. Um, this, this started October 16th, 1966 by uh, Minister U.E.P. Newton, then Chairman Bobby Seale. It grew to have chapters throughout the world. And I know I know some of this information may sound redundant, but I just want to see, you know, because I, I want to, I, I want to draw no foregone conclusion that people are familiar with it. Uh, and I'm not trying to say that in a, a degraded type of way, but it's, it's, a, it's a legacy that's, that has been and remains to be under attack. It's a continuous attempt to, it's what Malcolm X said, when they can't stop it, they're to co-opt it, ward it down, change it, make it something to be. 
with even with the Black Panther Party, its legacy is uh, it's, it's, it's continuously under attack by um, not only the usual suspects, uh, the schools and the media, but uh, even a lot of different people in, in, uh, within, within our own um, communities that tend to water down the legacy of the Black Panther Party was. Uh, it's an organization it did not fade away. It, it was subjected to a military defeat. Uh, uh, we say ideologically, Black Panther Party won, but it still remained strong in the hearts and minds of the masses of the people. Um, it was hit by an intense program uh, known as COINTELPRO, again, COINTELPRO, which is an acronym for Counterintelligence Program. This is a program, this is a program that was um, uh, created by the former director of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, and architect by deputy director of the FBI, William Sullivan, a program in which not, only, not at the horse's mouth, but at the pig's mouth. So it was created to discredit, to dismiss, and disrupt and destroy any black nationalist movements, especially amongst the youth. In which uh, over 90% of it was directed to the Black Panther Party. Some of the tactics uh, were that of the assassinations of uh, Lil Bobby Hutton, April 6, 1968, two days after Dr. King was assassinated by the United States government, it, uh, forcing people such as Asada Shakur to political exile, um, attacking uh, many people who to this day remain to be political prisoners. And um, also that of December the 4th, 1969, a day in which we define as one of the most brutal acts of terrorism um, uh, to occur on U.S. soil, then which two of our twin towers quote-unquote failed. Uh, the United States government assassinated 21-year-old Chairman Fred and 22-year-old defense captain Mark Clark in December 4, 1969. Uh, and, uh, that, that was, that was a, a military blow to, to, to not only to the Black Panther Party, but the Black Power Movement. And again, uh, this, this is contrary, uh, contrary to a lot of people trying to euthanize and say he just passed away. In fact, I just, ironically, when I called in, I heard y'all speaking about in, in regards to Jay-Z. It was a big hoopla some years back. When we had, like, you got, you got a, a, it was a, 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 a heated contradiction. Uh, we, uh, when Jay-Z had made reference to um, uh, Chairman Fred, he said Fred Hampton had died. Uh, the, uh, he arrived the same day Fred Hampton had died. Uh, speaking uh, to the point that he was he had to be born December the 4th, 1969, the same day Chairman Fred was assassinated. And a lot of people took a liberal position about that. They're like, okay, we should just be happy that he make a mention of it. We, we took, I, we, 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 hide, we said it was a contradiction, contradiction to the fact that Chairman Fred was assassinated. And that's one of the right. setbacks with our struggle, with our people. Uh, in fact, I was speaking at DePaul University one time. This little sister got up and she said that President John F. Kennedy was assassinated, but Fred happened to die. And the deal is, there's a war, a, a war wasting our people. But the deal is, we are a, 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 a number of things. One of the disadvantages with our community is it's not an acknowledged war. You know, other places you hear they, they use terms like political prisoners. You, or they use terms like uh, propaganda bombs. But with our community, is, is they call it love and hip-hop shows. You, you, you follow what I'm saying? And so the deal is, kind of like the Alcoholics Anonymous say, the first step in addressing the problem is recognizing that we have a problem. And so we got we say we use brutal terms for brutal reality. A uh, campaign that we do, we'll say we, the Black Panther Party, because we, 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 we engage in uh, – uh, is uh, uh, African anti-terrorism bill. It's, it's, it's a campaign that we implemented some years back, and it addresses the terrorism from the OVs, not the OGs, but the OVs, the original victims of terrorism, people who have been terrorized into such euphemisms or uh, nice words, is, you know, is a uh, gentrification. We said no, that's land grab. You know, what I'm saying terms that, like uh, 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 Cook County Jail, Attic or Folsom, uh, State Bill. No, these are concentration camps. Uh, uh, AIDS, uh, AIDS, mm-hmm. Ebola, heroin, crack. This is chemical, biological warfare being waged on our people. And we said we got to use brutal terms for brutal realities. You know what I'm saying? And we can, we, and also we have a, 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 a tactic we refer to as the code of culture. The code of culture, we say, there's too many of us to say things for some catch, some of us to blame, blame. We, we don't try to make them some sort of leadership. We hold people accountable. And we say, we know the streets make the music. Music don't make the streets. Dog wag the tail, tail don't wag the dog. And we up the ante. So a lot of times our people have a, a reactionary version of a uh, situation. Like you hear a lot of our grandparents sometimes say, well, back when I was growing up, the music was saying something. That just did not happen on its own volition. Uh, 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 James Brown had a whole totally different song planned at first. There was forces such as H.R. Brown, the analogy, the man, you know what I mean, who happens to be a present-day political prisoner. They drew it out on James Brown, so you better go back to the studio with that garbage you're talking about. He came back out to when I'm black and I'm proud. You know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And they, they fast forward mm-hmm. to the day. Kanye, when Kanye West said he said about George Bush, I'm not like black people, that one on his own British, we had sat him down eight hours before he said what he said at Borders Bookstore in North South Chicago. And these are, and I'm not saying this is some sort of machismo, braggadocio type of way. I'm saying that the people 
got to have to up the ante and, you know, and, and hold these cats accountable. You know what I'm saying? Because like other communities, they they they, they, they don't they, they don't detach music or, or, or economics from, from, their, from their everyday community. Stephen Biko, Stephen Biko, the Black Conscious Movement said. Uh, we we have to have uh, our conversation at the end of twelve economics, politics, religion, all of this. In fact, we say everything is political. Everything, music, uh, 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 fashion, clothes, hip hop, all that. We can't let we can't let none of these these present day pad pipers off the hook because they may sound good. Whatever you know, what I'm saying, or Michael Jordan may play basketball, he played basketball good. But if there's no connection to no contribution to our community, we got to hold these cats accountable or, or, or call a question that they do not identify with our community. That's real talk, man. Mm-hmm. And I remember, and this is what I, this is what I always thought was very admirable, and we, we gave the Black Panthers a, a lot of appeal with the simple fact that y'all wasn't afraid to do that. Like y'all were literally run out the push, y'all were literally run out the, the dope smugglers and all that out the hood, because y'all were really was all about cleaning the community up. And I, I don't want to get. I want to make sure again. I want to do a full conclusion. Conclusion that you know, people say that we, you know, we, that we say what we was doing. A lot of that people look at you know look at stuff in the abstract or nostalgia type sense. We get down right out of date. The Black Panther Party comes. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't no listen. And see, a lot of times people want to want to talk about it after it's cool to talk about. It, after it's safe to talk about. It. It's kind of like they had put they put Muhammad Ali on the Wheaties box. And the guy from the, the interview said in the 80s, he said, "Why do you put Muhammad Ali on the Wheaties box now? You won't put him on that back then." And they said, "We can put him on it now because he's safe." And see, right. Rochester kept going to say, well, we serve hot meals. We out here getting down right now. It's in, 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 in Chirac and all throughout the country. It's like throughout the world. We got a chapter in Brazil. We, we challenge what's happening in Favelas and other places. But the, but the deal is, it's a, we've been banned from a lot of the black media. WBON, that the prompt serves a black radio station. They, they got official ban. Soon you mention my name. They said they're cutting you off. We just had a situation four days ago in, Ch- in, Ch- in Chicago, or, or better yet, Chirac, when they had the Sway in the Morning show. You can, you, you can get a piece of it on YouTube. They had, they, had, they, had this, they had a whole propaganda piece plan. They go give this whole uh, uh, Andy Griffin, Mayberry type of image was having in Chicago. We disrupted it. We said, no, not, not, in, this, not in this city. We gonna say, I'm, I'm, I'm doing four or five films a day. They, you know what I'm saying? They knocking us up. Uh, uh, 10, 10, 11 murders happening in this city a, 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 a day. And they, you know what I'm saying? The deal is, so we getting down right now. So we want to make the community very clear. This, is, this ain't just what right. that was happening back then. We still getting down right now today. Now what's Man. that? What's that? Um, Sway interview. This happened recently, right? Sway. This happened four, four, five days ago. They, 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 they got a, a little piece of somebody doing YouTube. They, 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 okay. They, they, uh, uh, yeah, Sway in the morning. Yeah, well, they had they had they, they interviewed different people. They, the, 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 the girls in the community. Uh, they had, they had this, this like this Mayberry thing going on. So we asked for the mic. The lady, uh, she tried, she, she, she wanted to uh, keep the mic. I said, Whoa, wait a minute. I don't know what type of, you know what I'm saying, uh, moderation, what type of image y'all trying to put out. We've been on some real deal situations up here. And we, we see each other, we put it out there. A lot of, of people are upset about it, but we don't, we don't allow no class piece. We don't let them on our watch, you know what I'm saying? Wherever we go, you know what I'm saying? We, man, we, we, we don't care if it's a hip-hop stage, a poetry venue, whatever. You know, what's happening in our community? Uh, what's, what's the case of Mumia Abu Jamal, political prison? What's happening about the rapid police terrorism? And we're not saying this in sort of... Uh, Dogma, elitism type of way, but ain't no. We said we recognize, we clear. It's a war, a war on our, on our people. They don't want drugs, they don't want guns, and they don't want gangs. It's war on us. And anybody that takes uh, uh, similar to that Nazi Germany, it, people was denying it was even happening. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the Roosevelt administration, uh, people in Nazi Germany, it's people denying what's happening to our people right now. And there are many people who are complicit. I ain't, just some, I ain't just some of the white folks, I ain't just some of the Uncle Sam's, some of the Sambos, not, you know what I'm not just the Green Ghosts, but the Negroes. And some of, you know what I'm saying? And, so, and, and whether it be out of nefarious or naivety, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say, well, we had a situation a few years back one time when this cat, uh, Wall, Twist, uh, Twister, Twister's manager, they were trying to do this video. So we, we, we went out there to put up some issues. In fact, about the guy, uh, Daryl Hamilton, who got shot 15 times by Chicago police. And they, you know, so they were doing a video right down the street from there, and they, they wouldn't even talk about this. Shit. So we went out there to put it out. And so Twister's manager say, man, chairman, they told me they don't want to do no videos up here, man, because y'all be holding, you know, y'all be shutting stuff down with us. Our position was this here, man. If this ain't, you know what I'm saying, this going to be a vacant lot when y'all leave here. This don't benefit the needs of the community, you know what I'm saying? We don't care y'all ever do a video up here, you know what I'm saying? And we, so we, whatever, if somehow, you know, so whatever was a discussion happening, our position is we going to hide the contradiction and put it out there. Man. <laughs> That's heavy stuff right there. We had to, we had to just digest that for a minute. Yeah, you have, you know, you have, that you have one. Put, you, have, you have the anything you want to shoot, Mister Chiller? Huh? Hey, I just 
I, you know, really, and, and it kind of, it, it's kind of off the subject, but not off the subject. I really want to know how he feels about how you feel, Terman, about what's going on right now. Because I think you started to touch on it earlier about the political system today, and I kind of want your your opinion on the the president that we just had that left office, which is President Obama, and the transition in the, into President Trump. And, and just kind of give me your opinion on how everything's going, because right now it's so much stuff going, and you talking about a war. It's a it's a war on the world right now with the the president we have, and I think he got a war going on in, on himself. So I just want your opinion on everything that's going on with all of that. Well, first let me let me let me premise let me let me we we we, we distinguish electoral politics from politics. We distinguish mm-hmm. electoral politics from politics. You know what I'm saying? Electoral politics is the whole. The whole process, you know, saying uh, partisan politics, Democrat, Republican, what have you, the whole vote, the whole dynamics of voting. We again, everything is political. Words, terms, fashion, the names of football teams, the names of songs, you know, what I'm saying the the, the, um, the legal, the jargon, you name it, everything is political. Um, now, in regards to the, the, the latest uh, U.S. presidential uh, selection, we, we distinguish election from election. You know, what I'm saying we don't we don't we don't even back into this whole facade about this. Um, propaganda that they put out that you know that it goes to you know one man or one one man or one woman one vote you know so even even they, even the U S itself admits about the whole the contradictions uh, about the electoral college college and the people really don't get, you know have no say so who they you know who they put on Pennsylvania Avenue but in regards to these elections you know what I'm saying you, you, like you say it's a war it's been a war being waged on our people you know what I'm saying but the deal is it's been an under it's been a it's not been acknowledged you know what I'm and I say our people to African people in particular colonized community colonized people in general um. And I know this gonna you know cut some people the wrong way, but the whole that enemy back to Obama. Oh, 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 oh. Sound like it's about to get real. Yeah, you. Yeah, you were saying something about Obama? Yes, sir. About, uh, no, no, okay, I'm with you. I said I know it's gonna cut some people the wrong way. I had to, I had to hope had a couple of minutes. And we get well, opposition is in regards to the Obama administration. That was the coldest drug in America dropped on blacks since crack. It put a lot of people to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And I know that I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? And don't, and don't get it twisted. I ain't, I ain't no we ain't no Trump fan. None of these. You know what I'm saying? But the deal is, we've been under attack. You know what I'm saying? You can't it, it, you you can't you can't pick out one presidential administration. Our people have not been under uh, intense attack. You know? And um, this 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 this, this reactionary uh, cat Trump, he ain't cutting no corners. Making it blatant with, uh, about the policies that's having enough people all, uh, all throughout the trip, similar to that of uh, the, the administration of Richard Milhouse Nixon. A lot of our people went uh, with John F. Kennedy. Of, you know what I'm saying? People thought that Kennedy was some sort of friend of black folks. But mind you, John F. Kennedy, President, U.S. President John F. Kennedy, his brother was Attorney General Robert Kennedy, who authorized the wiretap he placed on Dr. King. You know what I'm saying? And then when Nixon came mm-hmm. in with the campaign, and it was also Kennedy. They implemented the Green Berets and the, uh, 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 the Bay of Pigs, the assassination of uh, uh, Commandant Fidel Castro in Cuba. But, 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 but he done it in such a Machiavellian way that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of our grandparents still was, you know, waving, waving the picture on fans in churches. Some to the Bill Clinton, Obama, the rest of these different uh, cats. It's, it's, it's a tactic of the carrot and the, carrot and the big stick. You know what I'm saying? We still being oppressed, you know, how, how they go. And a lot of people recognize certain things because, you know what I'm saying, they get laden with the statements. Um, or, 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 or they use actual, you know what I'm saying, they, 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 uh, point blank, you know what I'm saying, uh, war terms. But it may be euphemism, like on the Clinton administration, uh, anti-terrorism bill, or uh, Omnibus Act. These different nice-sounding words, when it, gets, when it comes down to the black community, we still being banged on. And that's on, the, that's on the every presidential administration. Man. I know, I know you said it, but you, I want you to expand a little bit upon what you said when you said Obama is the worst thing. You spoke fast, so I'm not going to give you the exact words you said, but you said it was a, the worst thing next to crack. I said the coldest drug that America dropped on blacks since crack. There you go. See, you said it beautifully. But what what did you mean by that? Like, what what makes you say that just in a general sense or even a specific sense? People, people were li- people were people were people were literally getting high. It, it, it was like, a, like a, it was like you could even you could even have a, a logical discussion or debate in regards to what was going down with it. You know what I'm saying? It really getting. Uh, Literally getting high, um, you talk to him. You know, say it, it wasn't basically uh, no, no logical debates, and, and, it, and it put people to sleep. You know, and, and, and there were certain attacks that were able to be enacted on the black community 
under the administration, you know what I'm saying? But again, it was, it was, it was like a, it was like a uh, like an opiate. You know what I'm saying? People like literally getting high with the tax going down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, I think I would have rather the last administration than this administration, but I do understand that one person doesn't rule everything and he's not in charge of everything like it's perceived to be. But this man Trump, in my opinion, can do some, some wreak some havoc on this world that people aren't even ready for. And some people are just blindly just aiming in his decisions. A lot of people have awakened, but it's just crazy to me what's going on with well, him. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me, but let me be, let me be clear. The masses, the people, the bottom, the, 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 Barack Obama's a senator in Illinois, where John Burge, uh, 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 lieutenant of the Chicago Police Department, was electric shocking us with our sex organs in the city. We get this place about the projects. We need to say, we don't say this. We were being attacked then. And again, I'm not caught with no absolute. I'm not no. I ain't waving no flags for uh, 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 Trump neither. See, we the ones on the plantation. That when, the, when, the, when the question is asked, who you riding with, the South or the North, our position was neither. We, our allegiance is to Harriet Tubman and Reverend Nat Turner. You know, you know what I'm saying? See, I'm not, I don't, those, <laughs> with choices like those, who need enemies. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not debating that we, this, 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 this attack is a tits on our people. Nah, but I'm saying it's been attacked, been a tits on our people. And it's yeah, kind of like what Richard Pryor said, huh? Yeah, I was just saying it's, I was agreeing with you on that, but I was agreeing oh, yes, with you it's on ca- that because we, I was agreeing with you on that because yes, sir. Even when Obama was on there, it was like man, every every week police was 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 you know killing man. one of us, man, and getting away scot free. So it's no really That's, no situation where I feel that we were safe under any administration. It's always real, been on real talk. Real, you know what I'm saying? And and and, 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 and I think it's important. That we uh we we keep notes on you know what I'm saying who because you know, this stuff these attacks this, this ain't this no overnight situation you know what I'm saying this is uh, 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 a protracted long history of attacks of, 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 of on my people and it's kind of similar like to in Nazi Germany in Nazi Germany uh, the term uh, genocide became a word after um uh uh, 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 uh the former Fuhrer of Nazi Germany Adolf Hitler and them did it uh to to the white community in Nazi Germany. Let the record reflect. When Mussolini, Hitler, in life, when it was getting down on African people, it was it was a nice term referred to as uh, the Africa corpse. But, but for people saying it was a problem what happened to a certain community, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the, even like the, the heroin problem. They've been locking they've been locking us up left and right all through here. You know what I'm saying? Now you you're saying you know, why do you bring the pack the bad? You some, we need some some, some uh, uh, sinners to get them healed and so on and so forth. It's kind of like comedian genius Richard Pryor said. White folks would ride through our neighborhoods and see black folks out there with dope niggas in their arms and say, that's a shame. But then they'd come home and they'd fuck them on the front can, a front porch with a can of Budweiser and they'd say, uh, uh, oh my God, it's an epidemic. So that's all I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all we stressing is that we, we definitely in unity and agree that it's, that it's, 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 it's intense. But it's, it's been intense on our people, you know what I'm saying? And we are like the, we have been treated like the uh, invisible, as uh, Ralph Ellison referred to the invisible men, but paraphrase invisible men and women. You know what I'm saying? Well, now people are acknowledging because, I mean, this dude, this dude ain't cut no corners. He's letting you know, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, some, some years back on Nightline, Ted Copper was on, uh, was on Nightline, and uh, uh, George Bush Sr. came out and said, look, we should all this affirmative action stuff. It's a wrap. We shutting it down. Benjamin Hooks of the NAACP came on saying, well, the president's going to reconsider. Bush said, no, you heard what I said, Ted Copper, point blank. I ain't cut no corners with you. But then it'd it, it, it be these, uh, uh, these, um, uh, uh, our individual come out there and it tell us to, 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 to tell us it ain't what's really happening. We should, you know, what I'm saying, ain't no war, you know, it ain't you no know, real war on us. Man, you doing the whole uh, the, the, the term that was the whole term uh, post racial society became popular under the under the Obama administration. You know, again, uh, back to my whole the, the whole knowledge about the drug. You know, what I'm saying we, 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 you had, I mean, when, when, when the white sergeant and uh, uh, police in Massachusetts when he did uh, was his uh, uh, Henry. Uh, uh, it was Hill Lewis Gates. I've got his beer. Yeah. Obama's friend. Everybody, this white dude was there for a beer, for a beer party. You know what I'm saying? And it was a whole, it was a whole attempt to negate the whole conscience about the, about the race, just even acknowledging it. And you know what I'm saying? They, what the old saying say, no one is half the battle. We were placed with this as that is to, 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 to negate that. You know what I'm saying? That the race contradiction still is a contradiction that this, this one of the issues that this country was based on. You know what I'm saying? You say you don't recognize. I'm not a racist. I'm a realist. 
let the record reflect. I'm a realist. And I do recognize that so we we were bombarded with so much propaganda, so much, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 more than the Bill Cosby shows. Tell us we don't, uh, we made it now. They put a few of these uh, slave success stories up in front of us and say, well, such and such made it. Well, you know, what y'all tripping on? Everything cool. Now, you, you, you see a blatancy with the Trump administration, similar to that of the Richard Milhouse Nixon administration, uh, arrogance or blatancy. But it was, it was again, not, not it was not. It didn't just start under Richard Nixon. It just to start under Trump, it was a current under the John uh, under uh, under the tenure of uh, John F. Kennedy. You know, you know, all those prior. It was a current under the, uh, uh, the, the uh, William Jefferson Clinton, the Obama, and all the other administrations. You know, what I'm saying this joker here, uh, he it's a blatant uh, uh, closer knowledge he had in Rome. The emperor has no clothes on. He's so arrogant, he took his clothes off. He done told you this was happening. You know, saying this we we we, we go, they go into the country. Ain't about no democracy. This was this was this was, this was happening in Chicago. This was by design. You know, all the murders happening in this city. If it was happening, if you had this amount of white poodles, dogs being killed, it'd be an international uproar. Every day we get ten, fifteen murders in the city. Every day, mm-hmm. body organs coming up, missing up in these babies all the time. You know, it's been happening. These, these you, but you had these politicians. They won't even won't even acknowledge Chicago. Go look at uh, when having the Sandy Hook. When, that's the first time these black children ever seen the President Obama cry. That's the first time they seen tears come out of his eyes. Babies getting been getting laid down up in the ground and, and, and body organs took about them every day in this city. You ain't you, 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 you barely mention Chicago. People, people talk, uh, uh, I heard about this war. It's a war song. We, we add, it's an old saying to say God created Africans and America made niggas. We add on to that. The man's in the machine manufactured Chirac. This is done by design. We done by design in the city. You know what I'm saying? And from the president on down to the local alderman, all the, not only have they been denied, when you try to raise it up, they shut you down. They, 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 they ban you from radio stations. They had a assassination system. They had, a, they had an assassination system put on my life. Try to wipe us out to shut us up from talking. Expose us here. Man, that's the truth. That's now, we got Sandman on the We got our other co host on. Sandman, you there, brother? Yeah, I'm just sitting here soaking it all in. What's going on, Fred? How you feeling, man? Like, hey, I'm keeping keep my head up, you know. Can't go swimming the weird drown, you know how it go. Yeah, man. Like, let it all out, you know. Like, you definitely huh. being very in- informative right now. Like giving you know, a different perspective. Right on. Tackling different so angles. Yeah. Because and we look, actually. We actually, I didn't mean to cut you off, um, Mr. Chiller, but we actually had a show, like, and Sam Man can vouch, we had a show about the, the Obama effect on black people, and we did that show, I think, about last year. Yeah. yeah. We call, And just like you said, we call, we call a lot of flack for that show. Oh, you <laughs> you know what I'm we was very, <laughs> we could, we, we was very critical, we was very, we was looking at, we was looking at, 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 at a critical angle. We weren't trying to be smirching or anything like that, but we just wanted to be right, right. critical analysts. We call it a lot of just We spoke about the facts, the pros and the cons. We didn't sit there and bash Obama, and we didn't sit there and praise Obama. We just basically sat there and just, you know, we basically spoke about the facts and um, how we felt like he could have did, you know, a little more. We felt like, you know, when it came to him trying to pass laws, he wasn't as aggressive to pass them. To you know, to um, look in the past, like if they would tell him, like say if you want to do something, they would tell him no, and he'd just be like, okay, I tried, you know. And, and let, let the record reflect. This, I, I'm, I'm speaking. I mean, I'm saying my, uh, my passion is, is objective. You know, what I'm saying I, I'm trying to get as much as I can for up on this plane. I'm just going to get out of town. Right. But the deal is. It's not. Uh, uh, these are not subjective, you know. It, it, this ain't no. And like we call these contradictions. It's not no no beef or no no hate on somebody. These are objective, real deal issues and stuff we're talking about, you know. And and and, and also, I will go further and say I'm not. We no, we not disappointed. Man, you. He was a senator in Illinois prior to that, so we we had no. We were no. We were not surprised. You know, you know what I'm saying? So like like a lot of people was like. I think we think sellout is one of the most overused terms in our community. You know, so a lot of people come and they talk. Man, I can't believe such and such sold out. These people who they who they talk about never had a relation to black community. O O J Simpson was O J Simpson was never connected to our community. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> True. Oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm not black. O J. 
And it's interesting how you brought it's interesting how you brought that up because white society it forces you when they're tired of you or, they, or, or whatever they don't want to put up with you anymore. They force you to play that role of of the black face. And that OJ, ironically enough, he he spent his whole life trying to drift away from that. He ended up being in the epicenter of it. And not only that, if you try to basically you know better yourself, you know. And so, like, if you, if the white community always loved a particular black dude or whatever, black actor, singer, whatever, and he's trying to better himself, they will bury you. Look what they do to Michael Jordan. They got a whole debate about Michael Jordan every time you turn around. You got some people that praise him and love him to death, and you got others that can't stand him because of what he didn't do for the community. They be every, every now and then they bring it back and it's like a full throttle, just hell on on Michael Jordan. Well, just like what Fred, just like what Fred said, like MJ, he wasn't for she really wasn't for us either. Like that was exactly. that's, that's the um you know that was a white people hero and he even yep he, he never now, said you know it real? but he professed mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, and going back what you were saying about Jordan. See, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real about that. With the Jordan scenario, it was kind of like they needed a, a new primary athlete because Ali had left. He was he was about to retire, and then they knew they basically knew that Muhammad Ali. Like as soon as he got sick, he wasn't the fiery, brash, militant Muhammad Ali. He was like basically a shell of his former self. And I ain't say that with all due disrespect because he was sick too. But they had it where they could finally neutralize his image. You said we're all due disrespect. You mean we're all due respect. That's what you meant. That's the man's <laughs> kicking in. <laughs> oh, man. That's but definitely. That's, 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 rest in paradise, Ali. We definitely miss you. For sure. So you notice this. It was like 1984 he started. He was he was retiring. In 1984, Michael Jordan got got drafted. And that's where he was. The, he was like what I call their guy. I, and I was I was like about two years old around that time, but I can remember the Jordan phenomenon specifically, especially when he first got his first ring, like the commercials, the posters, the shoes, the whole yeah. promotion machine. It was no joke. Yeah. Every, you see Jordan mm-hmm. everywhere, billboards, TV, like, he had the on the cartoon was a pro stars. Yeah, he was <laughs> he everywhere. Had, right. He was everywhere. He was everywhere but talking out for them kids killing killing each other on them shoes though. He wasn't he wasn't nowhere around then though. Now he's trying to he's trying to say something something about that. Well hold on, is Fred still there? Uh, we got Fred hold on, we, back, got, back, we got we got on Fred I'm back. back. What I'm right, back. So, um, Fred, what did you well, I want to, I want to ask you this, you know, um, yes, sir. the the whole epidemic with the whole you know, every well, the, you know the black folks killing each other over the whole Michael Jordan sneakers and stuff, and Michael Jordan made a statement about it. Like, did you did you um did you know about that? Basically saying he was going to stop doing it if people if, if the black folks keep killing each other. You know what? You know. Um, I had heard that he, that he post yeah. said something to that effect. You know, what I'm then somebody said that he did say I really wasn't. I was. I really was. You know, saying we didn't get no. Um, you know, say, uh, uh, I don't even. In fact, my, to be honest with you, my position, I thought that he, that he didn't respond. Period. Because uh, it was. I mean, because it was. Because at the time, even when he was playing basketball at you know the, the, uh, the stadium, I mean, it was right down the street from the, the Henry Hornet Home Projects, and he had never. I mean, I mean, we again, we were like the invisible men and women. He had never addressed anything to community, but I can't. I, 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 I thought I, I thought he didn't make that response, but I, I did hit I, I did hit different uh, positions taking to say he posed said this he didn't. I my, the honest with you, I thought he never, he never said nothing regards to our people, nothing. No, he didn't really say anything. It was like a tweet, so to speak. It was like a tweet. It, he didn't say nothing out of his mouth. Okay. It was just a tweet. And you, and man, you, man, you too, but man, you too. That's something that we got. Okay, especially this day of social social media. The, I mean, you know what I'm saying? These different. It comes. I mean, the people. That, I mean, that, that term manager 
and handlers, the, the ones who control these cats, they 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 get them cats. Listen, this is gonna be this is the car you're gonna drive. This is the restaurant you're gonna be uh, the front for. This is gonna be your wife. This is gonna be your mistress. This is get this this is the gesture you're gonna put. This this show this your tweet. A lot of cats don't even know we uh, we put out on their Twitter accounts and Facebook. You know what I'm saying? These they are lit. They, I mean. They got more. They got much to say so about their images. Ronald McDonald got about the Woody Green when he put us at the hamburgers at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? These are uh, these are these are these, these are posters. You know, so these are you, you, man. Jay Z said himself, "Not nah, man. I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman." You, you know what I'm saying? This, 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 that's when the dynamics of, uh, they become a symbolism of uh, 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 whatever ruling class, whether it be the Barclays Center in New York, whether it be Coca Cola, what you're know what saying, whether it be some gym shoes and. The, 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 uh, uh, they have people. They have. They have. It's a machine. And they, uh, the individual say, "Listen, tell them what to say, what not to say, or don't say them at all." And that's that's what the, that's one of the uniqueness. Like like in fact, like you see, like when them yeah. artists be abroad, they be they be outside the country. People be surprised with them artists you say. Really, they be their first time getting to speak. They have a little. The leash be the muscle be a little loose on them because the, 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 this um, the American Machiavelli machine is so Machiavelli. It, man, they had, they had, man, they had a whole set around the whole man. He, he, he your script. He, you know, he go this, he go that. You know what I'm saying? You're on the social. That's just yeah, need, I, That's just need for uh, these rappers nowadays. They need like they, they, <laughs> they need a motherfucker like a, a publicist to tell them like, don't say this, don't say that. No, when it comes to social they, media. <laughs> but they won't. They get. But they, 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 they even the reactionary, the, 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 the stuff that them don't catch me saying. They is really. It works in the system's interest. You know what I'm saying? These are the type of you know they they know it. They, they 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 break it. They get them freedom of speech. They know what they're gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like 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 right right in Chirac. They giving these truth. The, the, the Norfolk Railroad Company tra- train is is like week on a weekly basis drop automatic weapons over to these children's hands. They know to get yeah. to get the guns too. You feel what I'm saying? They know which rappers to let let them go and say they're gonna say. You know what I'm saying? They they they, 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 they gonna do a whole bunch of murder mouth field. They know it. They know what they know which organizations were in the they know which organizations get media uh, uh media time too. Which when, when, when you had a protest, they bring the cameras get around Reverend Sharpton like they so, so they they they, they on automatic drive. They have a psychological profile on these individuals. They know who damaged. They know they know who go they know which artists gonna go, 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 go immediately go in and attack black. They know who gonna attack black men who gonna attack black women. They they know Lil Wayne or Lil Slade. They know his his, his first contact. Well, he's twenty got shot. He out of his own mouth. All he remembers is a white police named Mr. Uncle Buddy. Well, he, got, he said the black police won't pass him. That was his, that was his affinity for white folks. The the slave, the way they they have, they have a psychological profile. So let them go and say what you're gonna say. We know what you're gonna say. They have a psychological profile on them. They know they know these, these they know how to damage they done damaged them and they put them in they, they, they put them out here here the microphone here go the camera do what you're gonna do. Hmm. They programmed. Well, they basically programmed, and I definitely agree with you. And they pick, and they program, mm-hmm. and the deal is, they pick out, they pick out the most, they pick out the most, they, they, they pick out the most, whether it's narcissistic, individualistic, and they, you know, they, like, it's kind of like in our community. You said, man, why the news always get this person to be on the news when they come to our community and grab somebody? They know what to grab, put on the news camera. They know who to get money to. They know that all that loot, that resource they get to. It's really, to be honest with you, really, the, the, the entertainment they give all that money to. It's really a, a money laundering scheme. They know when they, when they get through, it's going to go right back into the, the, the ruling class hand. You know what I'm saying? They know it's never going to be more investment to, to black people, to the black community. They know it. Yeah. And that's the sad truth, too. Yeah. And we also talked about, too, about censorship, like, going on, like, Within like social media as well, like I would, I made I did an observation earlier that I seen that a lot of black channels are being like either investigated, reported, or taken off of YouTube. Yeah. And do you think do you think that's all? Uh, it's also Facebook too because it, it, it's like yes. to the point where even like white people they'll report your page. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook. Facebook. They getting threatened. You know, that that old saying, "Go freedom of speech as long as you say the wrong thing." See, they, see any, anything that's in our community, you know, saying, whether it be uh, forms of technology, whether it be phones, whether it be uh, 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 some form of uh, economic development. You know, so what, how the old saying go: Once black folks rub two nickels together and make a dime, white folks gonna make it a crime. You know, I mean, we look at the Tulsa, Oklahoma, whatever we, whatever we, whatever I'm saying, whatever we 
we started doing some speaking our interest, as long as you just want some party and BS and keep it, ain't no problem with that. Now that goes now, now music. When you know, you start, you seen you seen uh, uh, Sam Cooke and them get knocked off. I mean, you know, it's the type of song they were talking about, the type of discussion they started having. You know, Sam Cooke, you know, what I'm saying dialogue with Malcolm X, and like some of the change gonna come. You see that he come down, strange murder started happening. You know, what I'm saying you know, fast forward to Park and everybody else. This is so any 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 entity. You know what I'm saying? Even with the street organizations, you know what I'm saying? They call it gangs. Once these cats start throwing some, some discussion about just some, some, uh, some real deal issues in our community, that's the he come down. As long as they got these, yeah. they got these pine, they got, they got these pine pipers running around, you know what I'm saying? Or the, these intellectual monkeys, you know what I'm saying? Saying a whole bunch of stuff and they ain't gonna kick sand the beach party. There's still no problem with that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because um, it's, like it's not only that; it's, it's also about the person that. Delivers the message through because you could be yeah, any old rapper we'll and and you could be any old rapper and deliver the message that you know they will you know really focus on that because you don't right, have a lot of people right, right. listening to you. you know, but when you yes, have sir. a lot of people listening to you and yeah. you a real big yeah. influence, they yep. feel that yep. you're a threat. Man, what? <laughs> you know, you know, go. You say you're a big. You say you feel like you're a big threat. Like, you, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. And it's, his brother, his brother Steve Coley, he say they move a lot of time of um, capability, um, hold on, intent and capability. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, they, they, you know, they, you, you, can, they, they, you may have got the best intent to do but you really ain't got the capability of doing such and such stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, we just, like they keep us, one, one of the brothers in the community told me, say, Channel 4, they know if y'all ever get your hands some real money, he said, they really going to take you out of the game because, you know what I'm saying, you'll be a real problem, you know? They know, they, as you just said, my brother, they know who, who you know, who can, who, who can present a problem, who just jiving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, when, when, if you was just um, talk about that amongst the masters, they would just sit there and be like, oh, you just an old head. You don't know what you're talking about. Right, right, right. right. Things, things have changed now. Yeah, you know, about it's not the like how we used thing, to be. Yeah. Yeah, about that whole dynamic between young versus old. Like, do you see that being like a deep wedge hey, in me, our let me, community? Let me, let me give you an example. Uh, 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 to touch you for 40, 40, 40 uh, I, lose, I lose you on the phone. This little cat, uh, Chicago, or Chirac, uh, Lil Herd. Now, we done this song with Nicki, Nicki, Nicki Minaj about Chirac, but, you know, the, the, the gun, the gun, about, the, yeah, the gun. Yeah, I know about it that. Yeah, no, we know it about wasn't, that. It wasn't no, it wasn't no problem. When he made a song and it made a reference about me and said, as opposed to Donald Trump being the president, to my friend happened, like you said, if I was the president, man, they man, he didn't get no airplay for that. And go on YouTube, type in the, 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 uh, the song I Don't Like, the, uh, the remix with uh, Chairman Freddie Hubbard Jr. and Chief Keith. Once I was, we took that, 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 we did a remix on that song on YouTube, you know, young cats got to stay in that song over there on Old Block in different neighborhoods, man, they came down on heat on them shorties. They said, you know, they, and they had no problem with them saying the other garbage, you know what I'm saying? Once they start, you know what I'm saying, some reactionary stuff. But once those cats started doing some real deal issues, man, they brought heat down on them youngsters, man. Wow. And then, and, the, and, the, and usually in cases like that, the record label would just le- just let leave you hang to dry. Hey, hey, hang, hang on dry. Literally, <laughs> you go back and go back and do go back and do some research on how many of these rappers in Chicago alone that soon they got signed, all of a sudden they came up, they they they, they come up, uh, 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 murdered by some mysterious circumstances. Just in Chirac alone. Go well, type it, pull, pull it up, it, you, man. It's, it's, it's Chirac alone. I ain't talking about the country. How many of the young cats got signed? All of a sudden, some mysterious murder happened to them. Because they know that's what so, that, that's what sells nowadays. If you say you're in exactly. Chicago, you gotta be a mass murderer and or cannibal or something. And then, and then they, 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 they can't take it like a joke. Right, you know, and look, look, look young brother. Uh, and I know, know like, show? like, I know how Chicago is. Like, basically, it, it, is, it is like, you know, it's like a lot how a lot of places are when it comes to major cities. You know, if you get involved with some shit, you're gonna go through it. Basically, if you stay to yourself, you know what I'm saying? You stay to yourself. You do what you gotta do, and you know, keep your circle small. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. But if you out there like that, and you no know I man, because we we get the same rumors out here in New York. What? Like even even Jamie Foxx made a song about it. New York will kill you. <laughs> it's not even that serious. <laughs> let me, hey, let me let me let me throw this in there too. Some of the, the people did not talk about some of the other ingredients that happening here in Chicago or Chirac. 
they see also okay even politically and ge- uh, geographically speaking it's a, it's, it's beneficial to the system the, 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 the uh, after the seven the highway a lot of these murders been happening on the highway or they, there's been a lot of murders actually on the highway they refer to it as the heroin highway they call it the heroin highway the, this, it's not that coincidence the movie el chapo was not allowed to be played in chicago this the, this is the major uh, uh 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 this was um uh Delivery spot, you know what I'm saying? We got the, 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 the cartel is connected to the state. See, they, see, they denied the cartel. You never hear the word cartel here, but you go, yeah, gangs, gangs. Kind of like Jack Hoover never said the word mafia. He never said that word, you know what I'm saying? He denied the mafia even existed. These are some of the other ingredients that's happening, you know what I'm saying? In the city that they're, t- they're not talking about. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're the structure. Chicago was known as structure, real big structure, organization, everything. Take the street organization. They done locked up certain key figures. And one of America's policies is to create chaos, then restore order. Again, create chaos, then restore order. This is, the, this is organized chaos. They're not telling you about the other dynamics that's happening up in the city. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the, 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 the land grab, uh, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the, uh, the major foreclosures, the American gangs and banks. This, they hit Chicago hard. You know what I'm saying? The, the amount of students of, uh, 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 students of the homeless. In fact, on the Ron Emanuel, uh, Mayor Ron Emanuel, on his tenure, they broke, they, they, they shut down over 50 schools at one time. The, the most schools ever in his American history. At one time, then he closed out all the mental health facilities in the black community. The, the, the sheriff of Cook County Jail, Tom Dart, said that Cook County Jail is the largest mental health institution in the country. Cook County is the largest, was at one time, the largest population of black folks in the country. Cook County Jail is the largest jail in the country. Now, California has the largest prison population. But Cook County Jail, man, they forcibly medicating them shorties. Man, them youngsters, I'm talking, man, forcibly medicating them. You got 17-year-old sisters in Cook County Jail, man, being forced to rest of their sanitary napkins for reuse. This happened right now today. Ain't talking about, ain't talking about no 1800s. I ain't talking about over there in Nazi Germany. I ain't talking about no Afghanistan. I'm talking right here. And, then, you know, and you got Negro officials that's up with it. You know what I'm saying? That's complicit with it. Mm, man. Mm. That's crazy. Hey, 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 brother! I, hey, brother! I did this conversation, man. In the spirit of steel shopping, steel and men and women shopping, men and women. Cause I know some sisters online listening with us too, y'all. I'm about to regret me something. I gotta get on the out of here, but hey, I, I, man, I thank brother Fleetwood. Shout out to Fleetwood. Shout out to y'all. Man, keep doing what y'all do. We got a radio show come on every Wednesday, Free Em All Radio, hosted by myself and Lady of Rage. Uh, it's called Free Em All. You can Google it. Free Em All Radio. Lady of Rage. Afro Bros. Yeah, that's how I call it. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. 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 On the website, too. I saw the replays from some of them. Yeah, we, we, some, 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 some of them on YouTube. Yeah, free them on radio. Every Wednesday, we be locked and loaded. We get them in. So that's, we, we, we a shout Yo, y'all so out. Put out with y'all. I, I, I didn't mean yeah. to cut you off, but since you brought up Lady of Rage, like, what's up, man? We got to have her on the show, man. Like, what's up? Can you call, hold that up for the call, kids? Like, call, what's going call, on? Call, call, call in Wednesday. Call in Wednesday. Put it out there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the number 929-477-3785. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Definitely. We 929-477-3785. It's called Free It's called Free Em All. Not Free Them All. Free Em All Radio. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, but we yep. got to pull up. Hey. Love, love, respect, and appreciation. August 30th is the Chairman of Friends Street Party. going to be on, 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 all over the country, August 30th. But stay in tune with us. I can my blogs, but it's www.chairmanfredjr.com. www.chairmanfredjr.com. And I, I'm on Facebook. They're going to my other page down, but I'm on Fred Hampton at Facebook. Again, y'all, love, respect, and appreciation. I enjoyed this. I hate, I hate, I, I can't, I'm, again, I'm self critical. For coming in late and I, 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 I leave it early. I think we got some good quality time. We didn't get much of quality time over there. We got yeah. some good quality time. I really dug this. Right. I, I dug y'all. I dug y'all energy. You spilled a lot of game. We love your energy, man. You spilled a lot of game. You was very informative, like I said. And so we got a lot of information out of you in the short yes, period of time. Yes, sir. Well, we love and respect, you, y'all. Man. Have a safe night out. All right. Appreciate y'all. We in contact. Right on. Definitely. Appreciate it, brother.